Let's get technical now. Talk to me about the meaning of the acronym ACEA. Okay, so ASEA is the European Automobile Manufacturers Association. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, okay. you have to say it with an accent. You do, yeah, well, <laughs> yes, you do. But what it is, is that it's a body that represents uh, some of the main European manufacturers that are currently operating. Now, it was established in the early to mid 90s. And what ASEA have done is that they've created their own oil standards, which we call oil sequences. And they're broken down into three main categories. Okay, you've got ASEA A and B. And these are lubricants that are designed specifically for petrol and light diesel vehicles. Okay. Yeah. Then we've got a CRC, and uh, C refers to catalyst compatible lubricants. And an example of that would be um, vehicles that run DPFs and TWCs, three way catalytic converters. Yeah. The final category is um, a CRE, and these are lubricants that are designed primarily for um, heavy duty diesel engines. We're talking about uh, trucks, we're talking about earth moving equipment, and we're talking about mining equipment as well. Understanding that acronym really allows the user in a workshop to know exactly what they're grabbing yes. and putting in it. And that, that would obviously give you a lot of confidence offering that product. Yes, absolutely. It's, it, it's important to ensure that when you're actually selecting the lubricant, that it complies to the um, appropriate ASEA recommendations mm. for the vehicle that you're actually servicing. Absolutely. I just want to also add that ASEA actually update their oil standards quite oh, regularly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> they do that to take into account not only changes in uh, lubrication technology, but also engine technologies as well. Well, just very quickly, I'll, I'll throw one quick question at you. They obviously have their sequences and so forth. Do vehicles over time move sequences? They can. They can indeed. And an example of that would be that a relatively new vehicle that's come onto the market may change their requirement as far as mm -hmm. an ASEA approved product. So that will actually uh, potentially happen and uh, mechanics and workshops have to be across changes in the industry. It's good to know that that's there.